What's going on guys? Quick tutorial on our Grippy Bella song. We've had some customers asking us uh, how to take the latch off. And some people like to flip latchless. It's a manual latch on this model. But, you know, when you flip it around, it, it does rattle a little bit. I mean, it's great for when you want to lock the knife up. But if you're not really into the latch thing, it's real easy. It's just a T6 screw. Right on the, This is a sandwich design Bella song. So... Basically, the stainless steel uh, liners get sandwiched, get sandwiched together with these little pins, and then there's a screw on each side. Usually, this one's a little bit tighter on this end. I don't know if they, they added a little bit extra thread locker from the factory or what, but this side, if you go to the side, um, if you flip the with the bite handle on this, you're holding it originally like this, you flip it over, it's with the... Uh, the sharp edge of the blade down when you're holding it from left to right you're just going to loosen that screw very easy screw comes out and then you would just pop this apart and there's a little pin in there see little bitty pin just pivots there's a little notch in there and that's where the pin sits so you put it back together after you're done line it all up get the screw back lined up tighten it back up and what did that take 20 seconds and you're latchless so the other thing I could show you guys is you know I'm not really an expert battle song flipper um, but when you're when you're adjusting your pivots you get the knife if you if you decide you're going to take the trainer blade off if you bought the option with both blades um and you want to you know swap the blade with the live blade that's just as easy it's a screwdriver you just flip it around it's got two sides on the bits it looks like a cheap little piece of crap plastic screwdriver but I'm telling you I've been using this thing this one specifically I've been using it for about 3 months straight and I use it like every day to do minor adjustments. I haven't had any issues. They use a really good hard plastic on the shaft and on the on the handle and uh, you know I, I gotta say for the for the low price of it it's real high quality. I can take this apart here and I try to hold the back so that the screws don't come out. As you can see you got the the pivot washer on the bottom and then you've got the other pivot washer on the top. So it's just the reverse you're going to swap a blade you're just going to go backwards and now right here you can see as I'm turning this side this side's spinning too if you ever run into that sometimes if you just close the blade firmly as you unscrew it that will stop it from spinning and there, you, there you see it's working and that way you don't need two screwdrivers now from the factory this has a little bit of thread locker it's not a ton just a little bit so you could you could choose to you know wipe that off with some rubbing alcohol. I, honestly, it's not so much that it's really going to make much of a difference. But when you put your knife back together, we we highly recommend that you thread lock it. So if you don't have thread locker, you can you can buy it from us. You can get it from your local hardware store. We've got the good stuff. I mean, we've got this this stuff's awesome to work with. This is the Vibratite uh, gel. So I've, I've got the Permatex as well in my possession. The Permatex brand, it's similar to Loctite. It's runny. So you shake the bottle and then you use it on the thread. And it, it, it just, it's just to me, it just doesn't do a great job. I've, I've tested it. This gel is great because you just put a tiny little dab. And we've got an illustration on our website of how much you really need to put on there. Um, link is in the description. But... Once you put a little dab of that on your threads, I mean, you're pretty much good to go. The blue is not the permanent. The blue is the one that you can pretty much get back apart if you needed to. Um, the red is the more permanent, so you'd have to heat up the red. So installing the new blade, very simple. Just do it backwards, right? You got your female pivot screw here. You've got your washer there. You're going to put it through. The bite handle goes on the side with the live blade on the bite side of the blade so this is the non-bite handle obviously since we went latchless it doesn't really matter anymore but if you were keeping your latch and you were just swapping blades this is how you do it 
you can get the you can get the screw started by hand or you can just go at it sometimes if I'll go backwards if I want to try to make sure I'm not cross threading a screw make sure it catches hold the other side with your finger these don't have to be super super snug I, as you can see there's like a little bit of play that's how I kind of like it you want nice smooth movement like that so now I'm just going to pop the other handle back on washer handle screw I'm not going to vibrate it right now because this one is going out to a customer I'll be taking this back apart and putting the trainer blade back on shortly. But there you go. I mean, it's you. You want to check that your handles are not going too too far. You don't want it so loose. That's about right, right there. When the top sandwich and the bottom sandwich will line up. Give it a couple flips. I don't like how tight this one is right here. So I'm going to loosen it. Just a quarter, eighth of a turn. So it's still a little tight. And if you hold the blade, you can see how much play. See, there's not much play. I've got this one. This one's perfect. This one's too tight. So I'm going to go quarter turn. Try it again. It's just trial and error. You just want to, you want to get it just right. You don't want it to be too loose. You don't want it to be too tight. And then you've got the other thing that you can do to make it even better is your lube. Now I've just got this old can of household 3-in-1 oil. Now this is from Kmart. It was 88 cents. It was probably from 1980s. Who knows? But you just put a tiny little drop in there. Tiny little drop. Happy little oil spout. There you go. I'm not getting any flow here. There we go. I'm going to short in a little bit. We're going to get these these new lubes in stock that are made in Germany and they've got a needle tip. Needle tip, needle tip. You work it in, you get the lube and the pivot. Bing bang boom. It's like butter. All right? So there you go. Now you're ready ready for action assuming that you've locked tighted your pivots already. And make sure you wait 24 hours after you lock tight your pivots. I'm saying lock tight. I should be saying thread lock. Lock tight is a brand. Thread locker is really the term. Vibratite is the one we recommend for ease of use. Um, it's it's a great company. I mean, they're, they're they stand behind their products, and uh, they do make we do carry the red and the blue. But honestly, between using the Vibratite and the runnier stuff, I'm I'm a fan for life. I I, I love it. So yeah, this one's all ready to go. If you're playing with it latchless, you're not going to want to shove this in your pocket. You're going to want something else to hold the handles shut. Um, we, we also sell these little cool belt sheets that, you know, have like horizontal mount along with the, that knife listing. And you just pop it in and you can pop it on your belt and go. Or you can, uh, there's also these little leather slip pouches that we carry that are really cheap that, uh, you know, you can slide them into. That way the knife doesn't open up on you. But before I talk too much, thanks for watching. And uh, I appreciate everybody's uh, support. Have a great day.